that's what my that that's what I my that's my what I that's what I can't talk right now. That's what I might end up doing. That's what I might end up doing. Yeah. Yeah. So far, I can tell the video quality is definitely better. There isn't much fisheye going on anymore. And uh, I hope the audio uh, that I set it up right. Okay, so for tonight, I'm gonna install the driver's side front over fender and try to install the driver's side rear over fender just to get some practicing. Because uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna install the passenger side rear over fender for the actual video. It's how to get some practice, you know? Let's go. So for this job, we need to remove the entire door handle. Um, but to remove the door handle, we need to remove this trim piece first, and that's gonna expose two, um, I think, screws or bolts um, that locates over here and here. Uh, it's kind of tricky to remove this trim piece. I'm gonna show you right now. You will need a, um, I guess, a medium-sized uh, flathead screwdriver and a pick. So first of all, we open the door. And on the side of the door, you will see this little, I guess, an operation window thing. Use this pick to uh, just remove that. I already removed it, so it's a lot easier right now. And now, oh, oops. Ah, there, you can barely see it. Ah, there it is. You'll see an L-shaped pin inside, and you just need the screwdriver and push it in. Now once you push the pin in, you can use it. Well, it just come off like this. Pretty easy. If you own a BMW, a set of tools like this is very important for you. You're gonna need it pretty much every single time you work on your car. So we got um, the Torx, I guess, Torx bit and the Torx socket. As you can see, this is very dirty already. Uh, I've been using this on transmission, on the axle, uh, the engine bay, everywhere. It just different size of uh, torque speeds and torque sockets required. So yeah, that's that. So for this job, what we need is the T25 um, torque speed. Oh, it's actually already loosened. Let's see if this one's ah, this one's loose already as well. Okay, so um, I managed to put a handle onto the over fender like this. So you just pull this pin out you don't even have to use a tool anymore i guess at this point um and uh just you know put the trim back on but now i'm running into a problem i don't know how to connect the handle itself to this uh release thing <laughs> um imagine if i'm not supposed to cut this i'm like i'll be doomed <laughs> all right well let me figure it out <laughs> All right, so um, I think I think once you put this piece on, it just automatically disabled the disables the rear door handle, unless uh, you put a uh, like a safety wire or something to hook this. I'll show you to hook this piece. And this piece over here. So this is what releases the rear door. I can't seem to find a, a good way to do it. Like I, I tried zip ties, definitely not gonna last long. Uh, different configurations. I I can't even tighten the zip tie between the gaps. So, ah, you know what? I might have to cut the rear. Um, to cut the rear of this section. Um, to make it work <laughs> i don't know um because once i cut this section i definitely have enough room just to tighten the zip tie um from behind that's what my that that's what i my that's my what i that's what i can't talk right now that's what i might end up doing that's what i might end up doing yeah yeah but for now, well, for tomorrow, I'm just gonna uh, install this like, just like that.